gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. It is. Your daughter's something else. She's not. She's a survivor. Takes after her dad, looks like. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What, sir? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. Stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect, not that fucking sham you're running back there! You're acting like nothing's wrong, and somebody's gotta knock some sense into you. I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm going. Don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck! You wanna hurt people because you're afraid! Losing Duck ain't enough for you! Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this! I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen! Always been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. 
Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Please right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Cat! Cat! Gotcha! Yes. Okay. 
What are you thinking about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? Don't talk to my girl. Just stay away from her. Excuse me, son. I heard you told her she was gonna die. That she was gonna end up like Duck. Why'd you go and do that? Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled. Jesus. You gotta run around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Be safe up here. You betcha. the whiskey. They look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. 
line up the site at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Steady now. Almost got it. Bit to the right. Aim lower. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. A little bit more to the left. A little bit lower. There you go. Nice. Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. do this nope no idea I'm not much of a stylist you know I'm going to look like a boy but think how much safer you'll be I'd rather be dead just now so you did kill someone before yeah I'm glad you finally told me me too you've killed lots of things now doesn't even matter. You're right. Before all of this, I was sent to jail, you know? Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here. I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah, Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab.
Sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. 